everybody. How are we doing? So this is a little bit different, isn't it? It kind of, you know, we, we kind of just poodling along, you know, gigging away in our own little kind of way. Now, now we've been messing around with all bits of audio bits and pieces, folks. So let me tell you, this is kind of a, a, a unique, quite unique for me in so many ways. One, I've got Jake with me. Just say hi to Jake, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Jake. I'm liking the hand. It's a very Lego. Is that a Lego hand, or is it a, a kind of a hint of royalty behind it? It's 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 just pure royalty, is what it it's, is. It's pure royalty. And pure to be royalty. fair, <laughs> to be fair, Jake, you are pure royalty. Uh, Did I see royalty or royalty, royalty. there? I don't know quite. Ro- what I said I'm definitely it. pure royalty. I'm Sorry, not I said, about royalty. <laughs> I, I, apologies for sounding like a bulldog chewing a wasp just then. Uh, I. So, so what we're doing here, folks, right, I'm, I'm going to do a review of Blocks Magazine, and I do hope that all you lovely girls and boys out there can see the Blocks Magazine okay. Let me know if you can't. Uh, if you can't, reboot your PC. It might work then. Um, or turn your phone off and on. Uh, hopefully you can. Um, and the other thing is, the other cool thing about all this is, I've got a little bit of music playing in the background. Now, I can't... I apologise if you don't like that to- type of music, but it, hopefully it's, it's quiet enough that you kind of appreciate it anyway. It's kind of there in the back. Again, something that's new and experimental. Now, something that's new and experimental for me is this. Here we go. See that? Look. Look at that. Now, that there has got a camera on the end of it. And that camera is here. And that camera is obviously on Blocks Magazine, which is what all you lovely people out there are doing here right now, uh, which is very, very cool. So anyway, while I'm talking about you lovely lot out there, let's say hello to a few of you, shall we? Uh, first of all, we've got Fooling With Bricks out there. Hey, Barry, how you doing, mate? Good to see you as well. Looking forward to having you on London Calling next Friday. We've got Bricky TY out there. It goes hello, 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 hello. Uh, Bricky TY, good to see you as well, mate. Um, how's your YouTube channel coming along? Was you thinking about doing one as well? Sure you was at one time. Anyway, it'd be good to hear from you, dude. Uh, I'll get in touch afterwards. Uh, Victoria Fisher, the lovely Victoria Fisher. Thank you so much last night, Victoria, for your super chat. I really do appreciate that. We've got uh, Aaron Brinklehoff as well. He gave me a super chat as well last night. I really appreciated that. Thank you so much. Of course, as always, folks, if you want to give us a super chat, I'll pop it on London Wall and then I'll stick it out on uh, Instagram over the course of the weekend. Now, of course, we're halfway through the weekend there, Jake, aren't we? So, um, yeah. Unfortunately. Maybe I'll put it out tomorrow. I'm always sort of thumbling around for what I'm going to put out on Instagram ah, on a put Sunday. It out whenever you want to put it out. I do. I, I will. But I always like to do it because I really do appreciate the lovely peeps that you and I have uh, in our various streams. Now, talking of streams, uh, from about 7 o'clock onwards tonight, Jake's actually going to be streaming himself on Twitch because he's a Twitcher. Mm, he really yeah. is. This he is very is. Twitch-esque, you with your, your multiple cameras in, in the one setup. You know I am. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm pushing it to the limits, folks. If you've seen us 10 minutes ago, you will have said, no, no, Echo's still there. Echo's still there. <laughs> but anyway. All, all streams start off with the technical difficulties. They do. How, how I, I'm just glad I haven't got abusive things flying across my screen at me uh, yeah. from, from Twitch. I was, do you know what, everyone? I was watching Jang Bricks last night after my stream. Because me and Jake, we was actually chalking till past midnight last night after the stream. We should just keep going, Jake, and just talking about stuff. Or oh, actually, maybe not. Um, but uh, we, uh, I went over and saw Jang afterwards. And blimey, he's got every single bell and whistle you can possibly use at the moment, hasn't he? Jang has embraced the platform to the nth degree. Oh my God, he really has. I was like, it, it, was, it was sensational. So uh, if anyone hasn't heard of Jang, do check him out. He's on. He's, he's obviously on Twitch, but he's of course he's one of the biggest YouTubers uh, out there as Twitch well. Is the best place to see him. Uh, to be honest, I got to be honest, it really was. And uh, do you know what? He was. He's such a lovely guy. He gave me a shout out as well. Said to people, go and see London Bridge Bricks. He's got a cool Aww. channel. Uh, even though again, it was cross platforms. It really was, but it was good of him. So anyway, if you know no one's heard of Jang, Jang Bricks, check him out, folks. He knows a thing. He's not very two. big. <laughs> he's not very big. He's not very big. He's gigantic. He really is. He's fabulously massive. He really is. Um, Minark. Minark, thank you so much. He's, Minark says, Blocks, Greg and Jake. Good Saturday for all. Well, Jake's going to be with me for about uh, 20 minutes or so extra. Um, we, 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 we've got him We got him for a little while, folks. So we, we're very lucky. And hopefully, Sai O'Connor will pop in a little bit later as well to say hello too. Because he's his London eye after all, folks. It's just, it's just a bit more of an intimate thing between you, me, and uh and whatever i'm doing and i and this is the thing folks um i've never done a magazine before reviewed live a lot of people don't 
to be honest. Uh, I only actually know one person. Until last night, I know one person who does, and that's Jake. Uh, and I didn't know that. I thought I was being original. <laughs> uh, I'm being original. I am being... Probably on YouTube, I'm being original. Yeah. But, uh, I don't think blocks. there's anyone on Twitch that, that does it, and I don't do it often, like... And I don't really focus much on the magazines. I, just, I go, this well, is what I've got, and let's get into the toys. <laughs> well, this is it. This is it. And I, I, the reason I wanted to do this is because I thought just to get that little bit more interaction on the go. Now, talking of interaction, Jake, we've got ourselves a survey on the go there, folks, and it's just about um, it's just about what you would like me to build theme wise anyway on Wednesday. Uh, and so far, 15 people have voted, and uh, City is leading the chase at the moment. So you've got Ninjago, City, Star Wars, or Friends. Um, some, some people have voted for Friends as well, which is nice to see. Um, so anyway, folks, let me say hello to a few more of you as well. We've got Lego Madness out there. Hello, mate. Good to see you. <clears throat> We've got Brixish out there. Uh, si O'Connor's popped in the chat as well. Good to see you, Si. Um, and we've got Barry. Barry, I could, uh, that arcade machine. I know you sent me about five messages, mate, and I do appreciate it. And I will be checking it out. I really will be. Uh, he's, he's got this. Uh, I don't know what it is, uh, but Barry, fooling, fooling with bricks on uh, Instagram, said earlier on, he said, right, that's my weekend sorted. And uh, he, he's got, I don't know what he's got. He's got some sort of games console thing. And it, it looks like it's the Star Wars Trench Run in uh, vector graphics form. I'm thinking, oh, cool. that is very cool, man. That's like, that literally, the hairs are all over my body stand on end. They really do. So, anyway, so I want to say hello to Heather as well. Heather, good to see you. So, anyway, folks, I think it's time to sort of uh, uh, dig into this, I think, dig into the magazine. So, anyway, these are here uh, just to give you some sort of inkling as to uh, what we're going to be finding uh, later on during the course of the magazine uh we've got video as well now video as uh, this time yesterday people thought video uh, was dead in the ground but of course if you watch london calling we had like a news alert on there jake was kind of um how can i put it he kind of saw the light before it most people i think uh but also as well folks you watched london calling last night we had kaz mockett the legend that is kaz mockett the, uh, the the wonderful london afol that she is and uh and she she read out the uh, the the news flash uh so to speak from lego because it, it was a big it was a quick response wasn't it joke oh it's incredibly quick and it just kind of goes to show as well that like they, they really wanted to squash the the clickbait esque rumor that was going around of of it oh it's cancelled because it was a dying theme it's like mm. it, it clearly never has been a dying theme it's just not aimed at adults that's, it's that's not all it is it's just it, not aimed at adults it I isn't it amazing but it's it's for nine-year-olds i i love it as well you love it so o'connor definitely loves it and and you know what folks i love the fact that they're brilliant uh and they're cheap and they are cheap. Uh, if you, you don't, don't, just basically don't, don't ever buy them uh, at the full retail price. Buy them when they're discounted. And uh, I, I mean, I was in, um, I was in uh, uh, Smiths earlier on in Farnborough. Oh, I've got palaver. You know, I was picking up my skirting board today. Yeah. Picked up my picked up my skirting board. Didn't I? Got it home. Like it's a two hour drive, folks. Like four hours there and back. Oh my lord, it's the wrong one, isn't it? It's the wrong type. So uh, that's going to delay things. Oh, there we go. There's the. Didn't there's... you get warned of that last night as well? Of picking up the wrong thing? I don't, well, the thing was, it looked like the right thing. But it's not <laughs> until you got it home. It's the same company. It's the same thing. But it's just a slightly different... When I say it's a different mould, I don't mean that the front of it is a different mould. I mean the back end of it is a different mould. So super frustrating. Um, but there we go. What can I say? Um, also, also as well, I just want to say this. This figure has always reminded me of Amy Winehouse because of the hair, right? Mm -hmm. And it's 10 years, uh, literally to this weekend, I believe, uh, that she sadly yeah. passed away. Um, so that's one f that's one for you there, Amy. One for the uh, awesome set. Um, and it is a brilliant set, folks. And they review it in this month's Blocks magazine. All right, let's pop that down there. And uh, let's get going, I think, shall we? So anyway, just before I do get going, uh, I've got to just give you a little disclaimer, folks. Uh, this retails here in the UK at £5.49, uh, which is um, awesome value as far as I'm concerned, because I always used to buy it. And uh, But this one I did actually pay for. Uh, Blocks Magazine sent it to me. They send me uh, free copies every month, and they say, if you fancy it, Greg, do a review of it. So I am. So anyway, folks, just so you know, this is my stream. This is my review. It is Jake's as well. And uh, I want hashtag you lot dad, to be... 
<laughs> Hashtag gifted, yeah, definitely. Uh, no one's ever said that to me before. Hashtag I've gifted for all the wrong reasons. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I want you lot out there. I want to know what you think about it and what it's covering. I mean, basically, they're just sort of saying what's going on in the world of Lego, right? Um, but it is our review. This, and we, we basically say what we think. So we've been very open here by uh, doing, d- doing a, a live stream on it, folks. Uh, there's going to be no video trickery in this or anything like that. But anyway, if you're enjoying the video, do us a little favor, right? Do check out Jake uh, and his Twitch channel. And also, if you fancy it, give us a thumbs up as well uh, and check out Blocks Magazine. So here we go, I think. It's, it's time to uh, get going. And get underway so what we've got on the front there we've got the we've got the uh, lego ideas typewriter uh, that's been designed that's a fan design set from steve uh i think it's steve is it mcguinness or guinness i think it's mcguinness isn't it it's mcguinness i think it's mcguinness mcguinness he was yeah. a ex-contestant and winner of the first series of lego masters in the uk he absolutely was uh and, and he's uh he's an awesome guy folks he really is um and he's an awesome designer. I mean, look at this, it's fantastic. I can't even believe actually on my Instagram story uh, that I managed to find a retro typewriter that even looked half as uh, half like it. But anyway, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I've seen it for real, it's fantastic. Uh, we're going down here, we've got, uh, can old pieces be new again when they go yellow? Let's hope so, folks. We've got a lot of, a lot of them that, from where people have given to me. Uh, we've got the Adidas trainer over here as well. That's an interesting one. Not too sure about that, but we'll find out what they think later on. Uh, we've got visit the all new Hogwarts. Fantastic. So they're basically going to be reviewing all the Harry Potter sets, folks. So that's pretty exciting. We've got win Lego uh, prize, Friends Apartments. And of course, Friends Apartments is the main thing on there. Uh, it's the main coverage. We've got Lego Land at 25. Lego Land's been around for 25 years. Unbelievable. Wow. Didn't think it'd be that long. That's kind of made me feel old. What about you, Jake? I was. I would have been three when it launched. You would have been three. Oh my god! Yeah. I think I would have been thirty-three when it was launched. <laughs> At least I would have felt like it. Um, I just want to say hello to I'm Board Toys. He says hi, Mark. Hi, Ty. Hi, Craigster. Hi, Fooling. Good to see you, Kevin. It really is, my friend. And I'm looking forward to it, folks, because uh, next Friday, Kevin from I'm Board Toys is actually going to be on London Calling. And next week, folks, is going to be an Injago theme stream. So there we go. Um, that's something to look forward to. So anyway. Let's jump in, shall we? Uh, taking a look here, we've got, uh, what have we got here? Just uh, the editor's hello. Uh, the, now, the main peeps that are in this this month's one is this guy here, Graham Hancock. He pretty much does almost everything he does. Um, Daniel uh, Konstansky. Now, he's kind of really into his retro side of stuff. Uh, he is. Now, later on, folks, we'll be we, we taking a look at some Black Falcon things. So people like you, Barry, out there, the, the castle lovers, uh, you're going to love all that. And we've got uh, a couple of other people there, uh, that have been contributing to this month's magazine as well. Now, normally speaking, uh, we're going to go right through it, folks, but we're just going to take a few looks at bits and pieces. Otherwise, we literally would be here all day, folks, because it's 120 pages long, uh, this magazine. Uh, now, this I thought was quite good, actually. This here, bad, bad, bad motivator. They put a badge on there. It says, you are great. Good motivator. That is pretty funny, isn't it? Yeah. I, I'm not sure if it would motivate me, but it would... <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's stick a broomstick on your head and see how much yeah. that motivates you shall we yeah <laughs> sounds fair enough doesn't it uh, i'm just gonna pop that on there uh this looks good though look at that build spotlight uh thomas uh Dizak, uh built his first original modular building that's his first one uh corner brick store you can support this that mock. can't be that guy's first that's, that's his first one good. Have, have you ever seen any of my mock work that I've done in studio on Twitch? It's it's no, nothing looks like that. Mine looks like terrifying disasters from <laughs> the nether regions of like Noel Fielding's mind when he's coming up with characters for the mighty Boosh. That that's like a legit like mock. That's like full on like. This is like I'd buy that for my city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, this is there's one thing I love about this particular magazine folks uh and you know i love loads of magazines as well i've been i've probably spent about 15 pounds on magazines this week alone um is that this is one is really well geared towards a foals and we get a lot of mocks in this so people like you kevin from on board toys who does by the way folks a fantastic uh, stream every monday at 8 p.m uh uk time with tech productions and claire the plastic architect mockumentary check it out folks it's really good stuff uh and if you like mocks so apparently, Star Wars is going to be a thing uh, coming up. Uh, this is this is the Lego really? way. Is it? Well, that's what they're saying. The Lego, the Lego Star way. Star Wars stuff. Yeah, oh. yeah apparently. Yeah, apparently, they, and they do it quite well. In fact, I've got to be honest. I think this wave, this particular wave, 
is one of their best waves and it's not even a particularly big wave in all in all honesty it really isn't it's um a lot of it is um the mandalorian in fact if you look at every single set folks that they're coming out with on this you might notice that they're not actually movies every single set is from a tv show it's got the bad batch uh, we've got the clone wars and of course we've got the mandalorian and i'm really thinking about getting the slave one on day one which will be next sunday it looks pretty good and then one of the main reasons i want it it's a really nicely designed uh slave one which they're not calling slave one anymore folks apparently it's a starship it sounds like something out of star trek doesn't it i didn't know they had starships in uh, in, in 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 the galaxy far far away but they do apparently jake they do um I didn't know that either. they're cloak devices as well according to the last two movies they've got cloak devices um yeah exactly yeah cloak device i thought i thought it was just the uh, the romulans that had that but no apparently the empire has it as well or the first oh, order I, or the last I, order I, I, that that went straight over my head i know they're like can scramble like the the signature of a ship but i didn't know they had yeah. cloaking devices i know the sc scrambling the signature of, of a ship sounds so much more entertaining yeah. doesn't it mm -hmm. uh and you've got this this ship here as well this is the mandalorian uh ship this is kind of like the the uh, vis I forget his name now. Viz Tesla or something like that. His name was. Uh, he's down here, folks. I could, I could, I barely read it. Um, uh, I, I need to get bifocals or something like that. Um, but anyway, moving on swiftly, uh, we've got ourselves the world map. Now I don't know anyone who's bought the world map yet. It looks, looks okay. It, it looks like the end of the world because everything's iced over. Um, you know, um, which is a shame, really. It's like it's like they've inverted the colours. The colours need to be the other way round, don't you think? Um. I don't know. It's it's the aim of it is supposed to be so you can create your own sort of personalized map. The the hmm. thing that they've shown there is I believe it's current strengths. So it's oh, right. the, the 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 brighter the, the sorry the darker the red, the stronger the current in the oceans. Like it's it's topographical in that kind of way. Um, but if you were to color the the earth bits, the the land bits, I believe there is enough parts. I yeah. don't know anyone who has bought one. I know a couple of people who got gifted one. Mm. Um, they are massive. Most oh, they, people they are massive. They, that's for sure. they do the land bits and then they fill out whatever design they want around it. Yeah, um, it, and it, it works. It works very well. I'm kind of glad they've done it. I'd be interested to see what they do with the globe because uh, apparently that's going to be a thing as well. Um, yeah, the globe's, globe's going to be cool. I'm more interested in, in the 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 inside and how that's built, yeah. how they've turned yeah. the concept from ideas into a, a, a set. Mm. I think that's going to be really interesting, but it's a very well-designed idea set from the get-go of understanding that this is going to be on shelves and people have to build it rather than building something massive in hopes mm. that someone at Lego might make something close to it, but doesn't actually end up anything like it <laughs> okay yeah that's true that's true um anyway I'm, I'm always glad that they've done something like it and with the globe i'll be interested to see when they do it uh if, the, if that influences the next version of uh, the death star that comes out um and anyway folks like i said we're going through this magazine please do chip in and tell me what you think of it as well um or what you think about what we're talking about that's what i want to know what do you think of the map and stuff like that uh victoria says uh i would love a globe uh, but not bothered about the map yeah i'm with you on that it's going to take up a lot less space uh for example the box um, of the map is massive i saw someone buy it day mm. one in the lego store and they had to like have it like strapped to their back like this yeah. is massive <laughs> yeah i mean it, it, it is the world uh you know he's got he's got the whole wide world in his hands so to speak that guy or go yeah. whichever they were or or strapped to their back in this case they were. <laughs> Do doesn't really go with the song does it <laughs> but anyway Not moving on swiftly <laughs> yeah he's got the whole wide world strapped on his back he's got oh, i don't know actually i think we could it's not a... It's, it's missing yeah. a couple of syllables it's not a snappy <laughs> yeah it's not a snappy. definitely not a snappy they probably thought about it at the time yeah. when they thought about the song folks <laughs> so anyway a tour of lego mythica uh, okay so anyone who goes to lego these days and even getting mythica uh mentioned on tv now which is kind of exciting i love it when you see a lego, a lego advert on tv an app in, in there what's what's the Nothing. on the second page third second picture uh what's second the, picture here it goes is the app yeah activation yeah, points bring beasts to life oh a bit of ar cool. then 
Yeah, a bit of AR. Might so, be an AR app that works. Augmented reality. <laughs> yeah, you probably have to do about 10 upgrades. As you get to about the full ride, it kind of starts coming into its own by that point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, if, I, I, and if anyone's ever wondered what, what, what happened to old, uh, uh, you know, Jack and Co., um, with uh, hidden side, you know, redundant AR figures. Uh, you probably see them wandering around, uh, doing some bar work or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out, I suppose. But I, do you know what? It would be kind of cool if you saw some hidden side figures just wandering around, right? Randomly. I mean, why not? It, it yeah. would be funny. I tell you, you would like that as well. Is uh, the likes of uh, Sio Connor? He'd love that. He really would. Um, it, now the brick set collection apparently uh, 17,799 items in the database now we're talking about a uh, brick set here folks it goes with the overall brick set user collection uh, reaching a milestone here is a breakdown of what users own so 202,000 uh, collectors collections recorded uh, 900 million values of sets owned, uh, 29 million 500,000 sets owned, 66 million minifigures owned. Oh my God, that is a lot of minifigures, isn't it? Um, and, uh, oh God, 9,000 million. Now that's a big number, isn't it? 9,000 million pieces what, owned. What, what counts as an item? Because so, 17,799 items sounds really small in comparison to every other stat on that page. What defines an item? I don't know. Anything really, isn't it? Any anything that's an element. Would that be like, anything that's not a set? So would that be like key rings? If people have registered like their key rings on there and things like that? I, it's got to be, isn't it? It's got to be absolutely anything. One thing. Any. It's a bit like uh, in the world of IT, they call them CIs, uh, configuration items, which is basically Lego talk for element. You know, it's any any one thing. It's it's pretty impressive. I like brick set. Brick set to me, you know, it's like it's it's basically my bible. It's my go-to place for everything. It really so. is. Um, so it's good stuff. Uh, oh look, now look at this. Now uh, a, a young gentleman just below me, uh, he's building the daily buggle as well. Actually, he's not the daily buggle in his in his sense of the word. It's more like the monthly buggle, is it not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been it's been. Well, I got it just before it released because I got it on on the VIP pre order. Yeah, uh, I don't know when did I must have started building it maybe the week it came out. So how long was that been? That's been that came out June first. Right? Yeah, yeah, June the first. It's a great so set. It's been nearly two months. <laughs> two months. Yeah, you're milking it. Uh, I mean, I can't talk, folks. Look, I mean, that's it. I've only done one session at it, or maybe two. Uh, but over there, in, in between uh, this, nin, you know, this uh, Ninjago set and a collection of minifigures. Um, there, there is assembly square going on in there, but um, I just haven't had time to do anything to it. I really haven't. Um, we've got uh, a couple of people who've joined in as well. We've got Lorraine Fox O'Connor. Lorraine, great to see you. Um, one thing I would like to know, folks, is that does the music sound okay? Sounds okay to me. I just want to make sure it's okay for you, lovely lot, out there as well. Uh, Bricky TY says, ah, the Daily Bugle, laugh out loud. I'd build that if I got it. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good set. It really is. Ah, and one of my best friends in all the world. Uh, is here as well. Brick Hive, good afternoon, panel and chat. Good to see you, Brick Hive. Uh, so, Brandon, hope all is well with you, my good friend. Uh, do you know what? I sent him my sig fig a few weeks ago, and uh, he's included in a small, short animation film of him uh, going to uh, Brick Mania in Brick Virginia. Is it Virginia? Brick Fair Virginia. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so do check his channel out, folks. I love Brandon to bits. I really do. So anyway, uh, something about the Daily Bugle, seven, set 76178. Uh, the Lego senior designer, Mark Stafford, uh, took to Reddit to discuss the epic new 3,770-piece Marvel Spider-Man set that's designed. I love this set. I will buy it one day, folks, and I will basically use it as a template to build loads of other towers as well. It's it's a There are some really cool building techniques for not just the building itself, but like for little details inside of it. Like my, one of my favorite things in it, there's a vending machine in it, oh, but it, it, it's, it's, it just looks awesome. Like when, whilst, whilst you're building it, you finally get it finished. You're like, oh, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing, Kevin? I'm not quite sure. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> basically i'm not i'm trying to i'm trying to not get I, i'm containing my excitement kevin you know what i'm like i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm like I, there's energy bursting out of me at the moment but i'm just trying to contain it because um well i'm doing a magazine review i can't be too crazy about it um so anyway move, moving on swiftly it says 
Um, the big questions, what is the BrickLink Designer Programme? Well, anyway, folks, I hope you lovely lot out there managed to get yourselves uh, down and uh, get yourself some BrickLink Designer Programme sets. I managed to get myself, uh, I've got a couple of things actually. I got the um, Pursuit of Flight and I also got the Castle in the Forest. Uh, or the forest with the castle. I can't remember what it was called. It was ages ago that I got it. And uh, anyone else that was lucky enough to get them as well, even though somehow Lego made a mistake and sold double the amount, um, I think it's a damn good program. I think it's, I think I think it's very it's a, easy that that Lego sold double the amount yeah. considering the amount of people that are on that site. It, it was obvious that the stuff like that was going to happen. Yeah. The only feedback I would give Lego about doing it next time, can you get, just give people an idea of what's actually going to happen? Because no one had an idea that they had to go to Lego to actually buy it. It was like you went from one place to another and back again. It was a, it was a little bit confusing. But anyway, I think... You do get the IP points there that way. So. Yeah, well, that is true, actually. Um, that, that is true. Uh, Bricky T. White says, Greg, you are so lucky to get that castle. Do you know what? There is a, I've got a slight story behind that. I, I Basically, I was doing a walk. I was on a holiday in Cumbria, right? And I had to basically jog 12 kilometers as fast as I could to ensure that I got home where I was staying, the cottage, on time to get it. I, got, I ran home. I literally jogged home, right? Got in the cottage with five minutes to spare, logged in, and I was there. I was ready for site it crashed. at four, four o'clock. Um. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> no, I don't. Do you know what, Jake? I don't think the site crashed. I just think they just didn't put stuff on for sale uh, on, on, quick it, enough. It, it, yeah, it didn't. It didn't happen for a, a good 30, 40 minutes. But that's again. That's just how pre-orders work. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. there's never been a pre-order in the history of pre-orders where it hasn't sold out in ages mm. and the site hasn't crashed like this yeah. is very common things even like music festivals where yeah. there's like a hundred thousand yeah. people attending exactly. always crashed mm. like every year like you, without a question you, you were basically folks you just got to put up with it because i tell you what the more i've been getting into collecting other things recently now i went, I went out to um i went to the lego uh, i didn't go to the lego store today there's not, none but i went to smith's i bought this right and I tell you what, folks, right? I've been researching more and more of these black series. I've nearly collected all the ones that I want now, right? And I'm not kidding, folks. They go through the same shenanigans as what we do as Lego ones. When they come out with a new one, and I'm talking Raven is coming out sometime between August and December, that will sell out like hotcakes. It really will. So well, that's, the, that's the sport of, of, of being mm. a collector and collecting things in limited runs. If you don't get it, you, you just don't get it like yeah it's, that it's is the it fight it's the fight <laughs> yeah and then you've got to get yourself onto ebay asap uh you really do yeah. or just wait until it comes on again uh i just want to say hello to simon who's uh, joined us as well good to see you simon hope you're having a top day my friend uh loads of pe peeps out in the chat chatting away about things don't forget if you just joined please do give the stream a thumbs up please do check out anyone who pops in to say hello as a guest today folks and uh, do check out the survey as well so this is the um this is the designer typewriter it's set number 21327 uh it's design uh, the design manager sam johnson design master wes talbot designer james may uh I think that's the guy that does top gear in it uh and <laughs> <laughs> uh and uh, uh, present the latest Lego idea set. It's a wonderful set, folks. Um, I don't know if it's quite for me, but I will say this: it looks amazing. Uh, and the keys, the keys are printed, thank goodness. Uh, uh, but it is, does look, um, it does look really good. I'm glad they've done it. Like, I'm not going to like everything that they do, but I'm just kind of glad that they did it, Jake. Yeah, I, it's not high on my priority list to get, but it, it's an amazing looking set. It has a has a really cool story, which I think is probably described on that page. You just. Uh, gone past because the yellow one is the typewriter he made during Lego Masters for his final uh, ah. piece. The grey one was a prototype that he made while sort mm. of figuring out how to do it and then the green one on the right is uh, sorry on, on the left is his um, his final ideas box submission. Brilliant and they are they're really good uh, and I've got to be honest folks um I definitely wasn't too keen on the grey one. Uh, I, pr I prefer the yellow one, but my absolute favourite is the green one. And I think Lego did a great job uh, of what they did as well. So if any of you lot out there have got it, let me know what you think about it. Uh, like I said, it's not really my cat, you know, not my kettle of fish. 
Uh, oh, there's an idea for a Lego idea set, Kettle of Fish. Um, but what, I will, what I will say, I love a cliche. Uh, what I will say is, I think it's a beautiful thing. I really do. Um, so, is bigger better? A uh, cat. Uh, now she's one of my favorite reviewers on this uh, in this magazine. She says, Cat considers whether bigger Lego sets are worth all the hype and there is the, the appeal found in smaller boxes. Well, I've got to be honest, folks. I've got a couple of these that I've invested in, uh, which is Steamboat Willie. Uh, one of them I'm going to build. One of them I just got because she just basically, it, I bought it at the time when it said, there's no more, that's it. There's no more going to be uh, uh, manufactured. Um, I got it because I think it's unique. It's black and white. It's brilliant. And you know, price per part count and stuff like that, Jake, I thought it was a really good price. Um, my only thing I would say about Lego Ideas is I really wish, and so kind of thinks this as well, I just wish they'd do like the odd 20 pound set so that people- I mean, you get Ideas sets as gift with purchases. That's true, and there's one coming up, isn't there? The, yeah, um... there's, there's a lot of the smaller competitions on the Ideas platform end mm. up becoming uh, gift with purchases so there was the the blue cadillac recently yeah um, like that that was a gift with, was a gift with purchase i mean they also did do i think it was like 30 pounds they did the women of space ideas set yeah women of nasa that is a brilliant set folks i mean i, I keep reusing that all the time I, I even made a shorts video on it uh, just building a space shuttle it, you know it was just it was it, it's it's got great it, it, it's one of those things it teaches you something about nasa it teaches you something uh, about Lego because there's some great, unique um, techniques used in that. And it's just a really cool set. And it was like £25. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, so it's one of those things. I love Lego ideas. one of my favourite themes. And I would oh, never have said that. Yeah, I would never have said that 20 years ago. Uh, so Graham Hancock uh, says, what is collecting? It's one of his articles on that. Being a collector isn't just about splashing huge amounts of cash. Do you know what, folks? It really isn't. And do you know what? Um, I often say uh, being an AFOL is not necessarily about buying Lego and building Lego. It's just being part of and immersing yourself in the community. It's almost like a, a state of mind. Um, Daniel goes on uh, in an article where doubling up, he says all too often AFOLs find themselves with all manner of repeat products, either on purpose or by accident. I have to catalog everything I buy personally. I yep. really do. Uh, only because I, I, I do obsessively brick set discogs like if there's a way of categorizing something i collect i i, I would do it yeah no i do as well i'm just adjusting my light there we go just to get a little bit of that shine off there there we go maybe next time i'll put it at a slight angle there folks but i think that's all right um do let me know in the chat as well folks if it sounds okay and the visuals are all okay hopefully it is uh, and hopefully you're enjoying uh, what is quite a nice stream like this is this is quite nice isn't it this is this is, this is like the day, this is like the morning after the night before, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a bit, you know, just relaxing into it. Should now, be look, named the Hangover Stream. The Hangover, yeah, <laughs> uh, the, the London Hangover. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Um, so, what have we got here? I mean, th this is this is amazing. This is this is this is what this is what I see every morning when I go to work, folks. Albeit I don't see it in Lego format. Uh, we've got Big Ben over here. Uh, I actually, I was going. I thought for a second that was London Bridge. It's not. That looks like uh, Albert bridge over there that's definitely blackfriars and of course you've got the london eye which is what this stream is named after i just played around with it uh with me myself and i uh and of course in this circumstances jake as well the lovely jake so anyway uh this is of course celebrating the fact um building lego land windsor and this is um this is a really good article because uh, lego land's been around for 25 years now and do you know what with that in mind it really makes me want to go back to Legoland pretty soon. In all honesty, it really does. I, we need to go, Jake. I got. I got. We, we'll have to. We'll have to sort out a kind of a Legoland date or something like that. I yeah, think. there's 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 a couple of like a folds and whatnot. We, we we've all sort of agreed that as soon as it's like the the, the most safe possible, there's going to be a mass a fold gathering at uh, oh, Legoland. There has to be. There has to be. But look at this, folks. Look at the size of that there. That's Big Ben. I mean, Big Ben is massive. But I tell you what, right? You want to see a Big Ben, right? Go to London Leicester Square. Oh my God, it is humongous. It really is. Um, Brick stage Did you passes. watch the uh, Channel Five TV show behind? No, I do need to watch uh, that though because it was quite. Yeah, it was quite good because uh, they, they they were kind of behind the scenes, behind the curtain, really, isn't mm -hmm. it? All that sort of stuff. It was a really uh, good behind the curtain. Like there was somebody who like just got a job as a builder in Legoland. 
So like oh. they were working on projects like Miniland, etc., yeah. where they were putting their own touches on things and given apparently they all get given like sections of the world to look after and his was London so he was adapting it and recreating new new ones to replace old ones that had been weathered away and things like that. It's really, really interesting. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And now who was the name of the designer of uh, the Upside Down? Is it Ramsden? Oh, Justin Ramsden? Justin Ramsden, that's it. Um, now, he apparently did a show where he yeah, just Channel got 4 the show. job. Channel 4 show. So I need to watch that as well. Because um, yeah, that would be like That one's on, on more for That one's a really good one as well. That one's sort of just more about the fact that a folds exist and it follows mm. one of them. It follows a couple of people who applied for a... Uh, I think it's a, a very rare thing that Lego did for that, uh, of a, an open call for Lego mm. designers. Uh, and it was just a series of essentially competition after competition. And it happens that Justin Ramsden won. Uh, and that was one of the people that they were following. And he's gone on to create some of like the most amazing sets and themes like ever like he's he, he really was the has. designer of the micro scale hogwarts and things like that so <laughs> amazing he's a really good designer folks uh do you know what and he's he's actually quite immersed in the a4 community he's mm -hmm. even been known to watch this channel as well from time to oh. time he's he's a good guy right. he really is <laughs> <laughs> but I no he he is i mean what i will say is the one thing i'd like the one thing I would, if Lego said, Greg, give us one idea that you'd like us to do, right? One would be, is can, we let, can you let us know on the back of the boxes who the designers are, right? Or just somewhere on them, because... That would be I a would... nice touch for the, uh, at least the 18 plus sets. I mm. know in, like, the newer ones for the 18 plus sets, they do have started doing, uh, like, little, like, designer interviews and letting you know yeah like a little bit more of the story behind like the set and uh the designer and things like that and i know they do that on lego ideas but it'd be cool to do it for like just most of the sets i, I agree and, and it's only because folks i i've just got this i've just got this idea that i would be up for collecting a particular designer's sets you can track it via brick set brick set have um tags there's a way of searching by designer and you can go through and you can like mark off and then there's some designers who have their own brick set accounts uh, yeah. like nick vass and he he's collated all of his like favorite themes his galador stuff is uh stuff that he's made and things like that as well um yeah. they don't yeah. often keep them up to date very often but you know they're busy people they are they are busy people and you know the life turn you know the world turns and stuff like that but i, I don't know personally I, I i'd like to it's a bit of a sub theme for me and I, I don't know anyone else who does it if there is anyway talking of um we're, we're going to keep uh, we're going to leave lego land behind now folks now just out of curiosity if any one of you lot out there ever fancy doing one weekend meet up or something like that in lego land windsor for example i know there's a few of you that are in here that may be around that sort of area drop me a line could be something that we do in the future i think it'd be quite fun be a good day out and i'll tell you what make for a blooming good vlog it really would um so anyway how are you doing for time uh, young jake uh i can stick around for the maximum of about five more minutes all right five more minutes all right good stuff i don't i don't want, i don't want you to be late um okay so uh, lace up with lego so look at this right uh, first things first, folks. The the the, the lady, and I'm presuming it's a lady, judging by the fingers. She's got lovely nails. She's done, she's done a really nice job of her nails. I do like to see that. But secondly, the laces. Is it laces technically now? These particular laces technically a, a Lego number. element. It's, it's an official yes. Lego part. Uh, the oh only problem God. is they're not they're not <clears throat> like they're just a white shoelace. There's nothing special about those shoelaces. No. You could literally go into shoe zone etc. Buy a long white shoelace for like 50p go on ebay get them for like probably a penny a, a, a lace uh and you could probably put them on bricklink for absolute tons um because there's nothing special about that particular shoelace like they there's no like lego logo on like the aglet or anything like that which was yeah. maybe the the one floor of this set <laughs> um but yeah that's pretty cool man that's pretty cool so i like it i said again now it's the thing i've got for this i haven't actually got this i've got the the mini set uh gift we purchased that you could get uh, that you didn't have to actually 
uh, he was quite he had to spend something like 95 pounds which was a bit high in my opinion but i love that i'm not so keen on this but you know what i'm still glad that lego did it uh, i'm surprised I, you're not keen on it i would have expected you to be a bit of a sneaker head oh uh, no I'm, I'm i like a bit of converse give it a converse pair i mean if they did a you know a range of them i would but i do like it but the thing is at the moment i've got to kind of think in the future in the very near future i've got to be thinking lego city stuff i really have um that's kind of where my heart is going mm-hmm. otherwise i'll just buy everything and i think that's a bit silly really in some respects because the one thing i like about my channel <laughs> at least i was saying this folks you lot might, might absolutely hate it um is that uh, you, you couldn't say oh yeah Greg he's the, he's the guy that does all the Star Wars stuff or oh yeah he's the guy that does the Friends or the City sets I do a bit of everything in all honest and to be honest honestly Jake I just do whatever I like uh, that's it that, that's me in a nutshell so hopefully you lot out there appreciate it some people out there certainly do want to do a meet up which just sounds great uh, did you know Victoria actually went to a university in Upminster uh, so started in Westminster uh, for my first year at uni and then uh, ended up in Upminster. Uh, so anyway, uh, any any universities with minsters in it, I've probably been there. Know what I'm saying? Uh, so anyway, moving on swiftly. Uh, here we go, Bricky Y so another set hard to pass. Yeah, there is, there really is. So anyway, so this is the uh, uh, the Adidas set or the Adidas set as some of my American cousins like to call it. Uh, moving on swiftly, uh, we've got blocks uh, to win uh, uh, 10292, the friend's apartment. So uh, I think all you got to do is subscribe. Subscribe to Blocks, folks, and you've got a chance of winning uh, a prize every month as well. It's every month, so it's, it's a pretty good thing. And just so you know, folks, and again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not pushing it out there to you or throwing it in your face. If you do want to subscribe uh, to Blocks Magazine, uh, you'll find a discount code down in the description below where you get 10% off for the year. So you know, what I mean, if you fancy it. Uh, otherwise, just. Um, uh, while you're down there, do us a favour, give us a thumbs up and check out Jake's Twitch channel as well. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so this is the Friends Apartment set 10292, uh, which is pretty cool actually. I will get it, because only because the collector in me has to, because I've got the original one. Uh, and I've also got a bunch of key rigs, which was the most impulsive, silly thing I've ever bought, Jake, by the way. Uh, it really is, yeah. I just thought, oh, I've got to have them. I don't know why. I just bought, I bought them. As soon as I bought them, I regretted it straight away. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. I, I'll never do it again. You know, I think it was because we could get them all together. That was it. So anyway, uh, they gave it a, a, a score of 86. Uh, it's the one you'll want to buy if you already own Lego Central Perk. And I have seen it. I've seen it a few times. <laughs> what a great, yeah. great tagline. It's the set you'll want if you've yeah. got a different set. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you haven't got it, everyone who hasn't got it will be thinking, oh, uh, uh, shall I or shall I? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be so many people who will just want this one because while Central Perk's like iconic, like yeah. the real iconic bit is is the apartments. Yeah, cool man. Now they're talking of iconic things. Jake, time for you to boogie, my friend. I have to go. I'm very sorry. I uh, I have to go stream on on the Twitch. On the Twitch. In in, in, <laughs> in in like ten minutes on on the Twitch where chaos realms and rules and very little gets built or, or done <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like on this one really this one i don't even try and build anything uh not unless i i i get i get uh bullied into doing it um but no this, this stream is all about the magazine folks london and i and and let me know what you think leave us a comment or something like that if you like this format as well but anyway please do check out uh jake studs uh you'll find him over on twitch as well your um your story that you did for me yesterday was hilarious mate uh, he, here's your boy jake spot studs uh that made me laugh <laughs> i was playing around with that this morning as well but anyway good to see you jake take care my friends it's been lovely to hang out thank you so much i'll be streaming for probably three four five hours so what, well i tell you when, what when do all of you are done come hang out yeah jake do me a favor on instagram send me over your your link and then i'll pop over, i'll send everyone over to you then all right shall we do love right. to meet you guys take thank care, you so much toodaloo Bye-bye. take care my friend good to see you all the best and that's it there folks it's just you me the magazine i've got the music on in the background how about that anyway so if si o'connor's out there um uh, si that was a good time to join if you fancy joining if you can uh, i did say we join a little bit later folks and uh, the nice thing about doing these particular streams is uh, that if anyone you know if they want to join in you can just join for like 10 15 minutes or so we're just talking about the magazine and what the magazine articles are about as well which is kind of cool um so anyway everyone's showing 
uh, some love there to Jake. I really do appreciate it. I really do, folks. And what do you think of this particular... Uh, what do you think of this format for doing a magazine review? It's only this particular one I would do. I wouldn't do necessarily do Ninjago or anything else like that. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm just curious. I, cause no one's ever done it, I don't think. I'm pretty sure no one's done it anyway. Um, let me know if I'm wrong there. But yeah, Victoria Fisher says, yeah, fooling with bricks. Uh, I have a place in each place and commute back and forth each week. But luckily it's summer, uh, so not at the moment. Oh, good stuff. Um, what does he say? He says, uh, Brick Stage Pass says, uh, we need some eye candy, please. Uh, Say O'Connor. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I've got a new T-shirt on for this one as well. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we get some eye candy, maybe, in the in the form of minifigures coming up soon. Uh, Food with Brick said he's enjoying it as well. Ah, oh, Cheers, dude. I really appreciate that. I hope you like the music in the background as well, folks. I just thought we had a little bit more depth to things. Oh, talking of depth, uh, my, my good friend has just arrived. He looks like he's all ready to rock and roll. Um, he is. I, I, I can see he's um, he's he's, uh, he's he's looking all prepared. He's all prepared. Look at he is the man. Um, how can I describe this person, folks? Uh, he's just a really good friend, and that's that's sometimes in life, folks. That's all you need. He happens to know quite a lot about Lego, and I stream with him probably more times do I see him a week than I see my own wife. He's of course the wonderful Cy O'Connor. Hello, mate. Hey, husband. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. Can you hear me properly? I did all your fancy tweaks and everything. I can. I can. I've got a slight. I can see it. I can hear a slight echo uh, on echo, you. Echo, echo. Echo, 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 echo. I think it's probably because your mic's. It's, it's, it's normally because your mic's close to your speaker. <laughs> Is it that any better? I can. I don't. You. I can definitely hear you got a fan on though. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'll move. I can move the fan back a little. Put bit. it back there. You know, on your mic, right? Yeah. On on the back of your mic, what is it set on? Have you got like? Because um, you've got the same mic as me, haven't you? Zero. Uh, Circle. Oh, is it the? Yeah, it, it, that's ah, that's the reason for it. You know, the one that looks like a little bit like a heart. Is that better? It, that's ten times better. That's is the it? setting it needs to be on. Yeah, because. I wasn't sure, and no one has ever said, and I tried to see what way Claire's does, because hers is similar. Yeah, and, you know, um, you see where it says blue? You see where it says blue on it? That's the front. That's the bit that needs to be pointed to your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, it. I get you. Thank you. That's it. Now, hold that close to you like this, because then it sounds really good. And people say, God, Greg sounds like really nice, you know, like soothing got a to the voice. ears. Yeah. Is it ASMR or something like that they call it? It is. Yeah, so anyway, folks, we welcome uh, to the Jazz Club here in London on Tottenham Court Road. Uh, now we're going to go back uh, to our programme, which is, of course, the London Eye with Sai O'Connor and Greg and reviewing and flicking through Blogs Magazine, issue number 81. Here we go. <laughs> Hope you like that, folks. <laughs> It is. So anyway, Sai, uh, we're, we're, we're at the stage of going through the review section of the magazine. And um, all of a sudden, we've got ourselves to Hogwarts. Awesome. I have been watching. And I, do you know who else has a really nice voice? Um, he, he, he was just on. Jake is a really nice, mm. soothing voice. He has. He has, actually. And I, 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 I tell you the thing. I can still hear my voice. I can, I'm still echoing around you. But put your, put your mic on the other side. Let's play around with it. On to which side? This side? Yeah, yeah. Try it over there. Does that sound any better? I can't hear an echo today, which is strange. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Can anyone I else hear an echo? What it is, I can hear it because the sound is coming out of your speakers and, um, and pick, your mic's picking it up. I'm going into the mic. Yeah, no. Usually when I talk, I can hear an, an echo and I can't today, which is pretty good. Okay. It's good to right, try and sort these things out. Oh, yeah, no, no. We, we, honestly, folks, we always get these little techie hiccups. We really do. Have you got headphones, by any chance? I do in a bag somewhere. See if you can get them. See yeah. if you get them. Let's just see if that works for them. I, I think it's like a 3.5 jack, Si. Yep. Uh, let's just give that a go. No, no, don't worry. No, no, give it back. But, uh, sorry, folks, We are because we are testing out the audio on these things. Uh, so anyway, uh, now do, I can hear the echo. Just out of curiosity, can you lovely lot out there hear the echo as well? Um, I've got Fabuki in the house as well. Hey, Fabuki. Uh, we've got Brickstage Park saying, uh, why am I thinking Far Show and the Jazz Club? Hey, there you go. Uh, back in the days ago, Admiral. Remember that? <laughs> I used to like, um, 
Was it Sweet Tony or something like that? Uh, anyway, those are the days. These are my favourite character in there. Uh, let's go to Fubuki. He says, yeah, I can hear the echo. Yeah, cool. Uh, well, Sai is... What? If I... If I mute Sai, you won't hear the echo now, folks. Uh, so he's definitely Sai's end. Um, but I think he needs to fix it. He just needs to... Uh, a set of there it goes here there is an echo anyway hopefully now you guys can't hear the echo because i've muted sight and that just kind of proves it's his end not mine uh i think he's just played around your sound speakers yeah anyway anyway folks that's cool that's cool uh so anyway, we've got the whole we've got, let's talk about the hogwarts if you see so i come back let me know because <laughs> i can't hear him um so anyway here we go so hogwarts fluffy encounter that gets 64 that looks pretty good actually because you get uh the the golden figure here as well are you guys and girls out there collecting any of these um i think they're really good ideas ninjago have been doing it i love the idea i really do folks i think it's a uh, i think it's an excellent idea um we've got hobbox chamber of secrets set number 76389 that gets 80 as well now what i know about these ones here is that they all kind of modulate together oh let's bring him back in again <laughs> let's bring you back in again okay how you doing so can you hear me all right i do that's it. Extremely loudly. Okay. We got, we got, the thing is, the cool thing now is everything's more so much more sensitive. I'm half deaf. <laughs> <laughs> but you look cool though. If you tap your mic, it really sounds like it's against your ears. No, no, you, no, no your mic, this mic. Headset microphone. I'm just looking at the oh. settings and. Oh, okay. Yo, no, could, what, oh, hold on, I've just unplugged myself. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what you can do with these, if you've got a 3.5 jack, you can plug it into the bottom of your microphone. Mm-hmm, I forgot about that, hang up. I'll oh, give that a go. All right, let me mute him, because otherwise you lot will get a load of static sound. All right, this is, this is a good bit of IT tech, this is. Uh, right. Let me, uh, so he's got his mic muted. There we go. And I can't unmute him. So Sai, if you, if you, um, that's it. Now I can hear. So what you need to do is now set your speakers in windows to be your headset. Right, uh, no, your mic, sorry, your, you, so, sorry, let me get this right. Have you got your microphone, sorry, your head, your speakers are your speakers now plugged into your microphone? The headphones are, yeah. Earphones. Yeah, so the headphones are plugged into your into your microphone, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so go to your go to your speaker icon in Windows. All right. Actually, you don't even have to do it there. I'll tell you what you do. You go go into your um, cam and mic settings in Streamyards. Right and set go to the go to the audio and where it says speakers uh, set set it to be your your yeti or your whatever your microphone is called blue something or other and that should fix it okay has that done it sounds better can you hear me can you hear me now si no so have you sorry, have you set your um have you set your sound on your on your audio to be your your microphone? I couldn't hear a thing that everything got muted. Oh. Okay. I wonder if that was muted then. All right, well do, do what you did before then. Plug 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 your head your headphones into your into your surface. So just go back to what you did before, because that was kind of working. We can play with that another time. I'll just go back to, I couldn't hear a word there. Oh, okay, no worries. We'll do a bit of plug it into the surface. We'll, we'll get it right for you next time, folks, we will. <laughs> so loud. Okay, so that's better. Is that working better? Um, no, I've still got, there's still an echo. I can hear myself. Yeah, you 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 got to adjust your audio settings. That's worse. Is that worse? Oh no, I see. There's no echo now. 
<laughs> you gotta turn your volume down, Sai. <laughs> turn your volume down. The volume is at ten. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's why. So, so I can hear you perfectly fine, Sai. Can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you now. Okay, fine. Let's keep it at that then. We're there. Everything seems. Fine. I yeah. can still hear myself, which is really off-putting. You can still see yourself. I can hear myself. Okay. Well, you're you're, you're not echoing. That's really off-putting, though. I can hear myself perfectly. Okay. Well, look, I, I can't hear an echo from Sai. Can anyone else hear an echo from Sai? Let me know. We've got shy time in the house. What if I plug the headphones back into the computer? Oh, that's what I thought you did. No, it wasn't plugged into the to the the mic properly. Ah, sorry. Okay. Um, what? Well, so, okay. So, you, your configuration now is that your headphones are plugged into your microphone. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. are your so on your in stream yards is your cam and mic? Right, under the camera mic settings, under the audio, have you got your mic set as your mic and have you got your speaker set to your mic as well? Yeah. Okay, then that should be fine. That should be it. I can hear myself perfectly though in my ears. So yeah, okay. but you will do because you're talking and listening I, into the same device. I think I'll go back to plugging the headphones into <laughs> because that is so annoying. Bye. <laughs> But if you you might have your gain on too high, Sai. I can't hear you now. It's, it's your gains on too high. <laughs> anyway, this I'll get chat with you lot out there then. Uh, okay, so Simon says, "Ha ha, brick stage pass." Uh, what have we got today? Arc at these boomers. Yeah, I know. I, it was going so well as well, Tech. Honestly. Uh, <laughs> okay, is that better? Um, I can, I can, no, it's, it's fine. I can still hear myself. I'll go back to the other thing. <laughs> he keeps plugging, I'm plugging it. Why does he keep doing that? He's, sorry, your gain's too high and your volume's too high. That's why everything sounds like it's going to blow your head off your shoulders. <laughs> How you doing, Tech? Good to see you, mate. Uh, we've got no echo anymore. Um, say something, Sai. He goes, uh, up your gain. Uh, keep letting, uh, setting lower for the volume for input. No, can't hear anything now, Sai. I forgot it automatically mutes you when you do that. I put it back <laughs> into the mic because I saw the no echo comment and then I was like, oh my God, it's the echo from, no echo from when I put it into the computer or no echo from when I put it into the speaker. So I don't know. Okay, well, that, the, it sounds fine now, so that's good. Okay. There's no echo. The mic. So, yeah, the mic is always best, um, but you will hear yourself because when you do voiceovers and stuff like that, it's basically like, it's a bit like you whispering into your own ears. It really is. Um, <laughs> it goes, lower gain on Yetta, up gain in input sto story. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I think we're there now, folks. So anyway, Sai, welcome to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, it's nearly the thing, over. Uh, the, the thing, yeah. Well, I was, I was meant to be over in, in twenty minutes. Uh, I think we're going to be running a little bit over now, folks. We are. We're, we're going to take in the time that we took uh, to adjust that audio. Uh, we've got Solo Brick Builder out there as well, saying hey, hey. Uh, anyway, yeah. good to see you, folks. Um, we're at the we're at the point of the magazine where we're doing the reviews, and we are up to the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets, and it gets an eighty. Uh, which I think is pretty good. That's a, that's a good review. It's uh, they, they said in the verdict side, they said it breaks from the recent Hogwarts format, uh, but set 76389 is still a fun and engaging build. Now, let me know, folks, if any of you lovely lot out there have actually built any of these sets. If there's two ways I think of being really strong, it's going to be the new Star Wars wave, and it's the current um, Harry Potter wave. Have you bought any of these, Sai? Not the new wave, no. Yeah, I, I I personally haven't. I'm not the biggest Harry Potter f fan. I do like it. Um, I might collect the gold figures though, um, but they're probably going to be going for a pretty penny. I would have thought. Is it? Have you got any particular favourite figures from the Harry Potter range that you like? Yeah, um, from this wave, nearly headless Nick. I did not know he was a glow in the dark minifigure until I was watching. Who was building it? I think it was High Tea Toys. 
and it, it doesn't even say it on the box that he's a glow in the dark minifigure, but he's uh, a glow in the dark minifigure. And well, I love pretty... glow in the dark Lego. Yeah, do you? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's that in itself, folks, is another sub theme, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> um, tech saying uh, R blocks. Okay, you go to this page for page. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I actually got in touch with them. I said, have you got any issues with it, with me doing this? And they're like, no. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, but the thing is, though, I go page for page, and it's much higher definition as well uh, when I'm doing it uh, on my review. So, no, I did check with them, Tech. Uh, I really did. Um, so, anyway, Hogwarts Project. And also, as well, it's getting to the end of the month. So, now's actually an okay time to be doing it. Now, I don't know about you lot, uh, but the Taj Mahal, one... It's a building I would love to see. It really is. I'd love to go to India and uh, experience life out there uh, and have a real curry. I'm actually having a curry straight after this stream, uh, folks. Um, but it is a country I do want to go to. Um, the Taj Mahal uh, was an epic building uh, in the form of Lego. A, few, uh, like a couple of years ago, they had the big set out. Now, of course, they've got the Lego architecture set. And Si, I'm not joking, it looks amazing. It really does. It's a yeah. Uh, it, no, it's just a normal sort of architecture size, um, but there's just so much, so much to see, so much good use of the elements uh, in the Lego catalogue um, that it looks, it looks pretty damn look nice. good. Are there any printed pieces? Uh, yeah, there'll, there'll be a printed piece on the front of it where it says there, the Taj Mahal. That's it, really. It's just basically telling you uh, what's what on it. What's what? What's what? So anyway, so that's the Taj Mahal. Now this set, the medieval blacksmith, uh, in all honesty, I thought this came out months ago. This did. This seems to be, a, uh, yeah, I think Blocks Magazine are a little bit late to the party on this one. Um, this is a set I've got to build. Now for people out there like Barry, um, aka Fooling Bricks, uh, this is a, a bit of a, a nod, a bit of a throwback uh, to the Black Falcons. Uh, the Knights arrive to pick up new swords. Uh, it's a beautiful building. I've seen it. For real folks and honestly i am super excited to build it i really really am and i think some people the idea is sorry they're going to be turning it into uh a, like maybe a pub or something like that you know the oldest pub in london and all that malarkey uh, that you get as well um we've got aaron brinkhoff out there says i like the taj mahal better yeah the, the the architectural version of it is honestly it's phenomenal it really is um okay now good timing that you being here Sai. Uh, <laughs> because ordinarily speaking folks we might have been considering and thinking that video was going to be no more but actually in a nutshell Sai, Lego have now come out and said very quickly in a statement that they're basically going to go back to the drawing board with it aren't they um, I think it's a good thing and as Jake pointed out last night they're not going to spend all that money on licenses and stuff and just can it like within a year Hmm. Um, but I still haven't gotten the, all the, the new wave, and now I'm like, oh, I have to get my hands on it. But it's on disc at the Smith, so I've yeah. no problem getting it over the next few days. And I didn't even realise it still hasn't been released. This wave, well, I, I know I think they released them backwards. They should have yeah. had the stages out first, and then the add-ons. It's like they brought out the add-ons and then the big sets. But anyway, the, this wave isn't released in America yet. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I, I, I suppose if they're going to go back to the drawing board a little bit with it, like it's not completely being canned or anything like that, folks. They're basically rethinking it. They basically they admitted they got some of it wrong. Uh, they underestimated some of it, and that's fair enough. And that, you know what? For a, a massive corporate entity that Lego is, uh, I think that's quite open of them to actually admit that. Uh, now I like cars. I'm not a particularly big fan of this one, but I can see the appeal. Uh, the boat, I think, is really clever. I've seen that for real. That's kind of cool. Uh, actually, there's a new Mario boat coming out soon. That looks so cool. Yeah, I mean, that, that, and it opens up. It slides and everything. I um, didn't tech. Know that until I saw um, Justin's. Video. Justin's. Yeah, I saw. I saw the same thing. So there's actually a couple of good Mario things coming out. I might get Luigi next week. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I think yeah. you might. Oh, you are getting it, yeah? Is it just to, so that they are, there is a couple of them, yeah? Yeah, you can have his brother. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's true. Um, let me know, guys and girls out there if, uh, as well, what, what are you going to be getting next week as well? Tech, are you? I think Tech's doing a live stream as well, isn't he? There we go. Um, yeah, he's doing it on Saturday, 
Saturday night as far as Saturday I night. I might join that with, with him if I get an invite for a bit. Anyway, uh, the thing is, folks, I've got to be up really early to go to Blue Water on Sunday because I would like to get back and actually buy something and stream it. Um, I, still, I, I think I think I'm going to probably end up getting the Boba Fett set. In all honesty, Sai. Um, everyone is awesome. We love this set. Me and Sai, massive fans of this set. We really are, folks. Um, and there's Flynn. Okay, Tricky Bricks. He's, <laughs> we love you, Flynn. Uh, he's a good friend of our channels. He really is. He's a good guy. Uh, do check out Tricky Bricks. Now, this this is. Do you know what, folks? To a lot of extent, this is the, the the exciting page I wanted to get to with you, lovely lot. It really is, right? This is their top twenty. Uh, these these are the uh, like readers. It says here the sets you need in your collection according to Blocks reviewers. Okay, the reviewers. Right. This is what um they suggest are the top 20 sets uh in the lego have ever made us if we have <clears throat> half of them okay so let's start at number 20 shall we let's start at number 20 so what we do is folks and again i'm really interested to know what you lovely lot out there think of these as well um what does he say he says yeah stream next weekend uh you two are of course invited yeah man uh tech i, I might come in on the early on that um it's just that i've got to get up really early to get over to blue water to get there uh, before the likes of Victoria Fisher get there. <laughs> and Victoria, do let me know. I think you did let me know. But I can't remember if you said she was actually going to go there or not. I know you did get in touch with me. So anyway, let me know what you lot think of this as well. So in at number 20, right, we've got the Ecto-1. Now, I haven't got it, but I do want to buy it. What about you, Si? Same. Don't have it. Want to buy it. It was 150 in Smith. It's gone up to 175 now. Oh. But as you said, Greg, it will go back to 150 yeah but also as well sire amazon they've been they knocked it out last week for 124 pounds yeah so i'm next time it goes to that i'm definitely going to buy it what do you lovely lot out there think about that so anyway uh number now number 19 i did have i actually had this and i sold it i didn't keep it and it is the uh the batwing uh like the uh from the from the uh, the i suppose it's the batman movie wasn't it um what about you you're a big batman fan yeah, let's check brick set out. I can't remember if I <laughs> So yeah. so it's set set number seven oh nine one six. Now what do you not out there think of that? Because it was and it is an amazing set. It really is. What are you lovely not saying out there? Have it, no. You don't have it. Okay, so filling with brick saying number one is well deserved. Alright, we'll get to number one in a minute. Uh Ecto one went to eighty. Really? Tech, what, what what was that on Amazon, was it? Um, if it ever goes to 80 again, let me know. <laughs> I'll definitely buy it for that. It must have trouble setting it for going to that. But anyway, Menarch says, uh, I was going to say I'll be getting nothing uh, with a willpower if not with their tech productions. Yeah. Uh, do tune into that, folks, next week. It's, it's Honestly, it's one of my favourite streams uh, of that time of year. Now, Hedwig, you've definitely got. Yep. I've got, but I haven't built it yet. Um, the next one, the next one is a strange one, actually. Spider-Man. Um, Spider-Man... Uh, the Web Warriors Ultimate Bridge Battle. Yep. You got that? I haven't got that. So um, oh. it's not one I'm interested in. Um, but let me know if you lot out there would get that as well. Now, this is this to me is one of the best sets ever. The Apollo Saturn 5. You got that? No. Not yet. You haven't got it? Are you going to get it? I, do you know, I think I will because it's important for kind of, you know, to have as a, as a set, I think, historically. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I, and you know what, folks? It's a fun build, and it's absolutely brilliant uh, for putting hats on as well. As you can see, just over there. There we go. That's the hat that Tech Productions gave me. Uh, actually, Tech, have you actually ever worn that Ninjago one I gave you? <laughs> just saying. Um, so, Nintendo Entertainment System. Surely you want to get that one, Sai. I do want to get it. Now, if you count up the amount of money so far I'd have to spend to get the ones I don't have, it's going to be expensive. But, yeah, no, that's definitely, definitely on the list yeah okay good man i've got it one of the best sets i've ever built folks it really is now this is a strange one this is always in the top 20 benny's space squad brilliant little set love that um I, it, basically folks I've, I'm, i probably bought about five of them it was, it was that good uh we've got the, oh then this is an interesting one as well the batman classic tv series Batcave. have you got that one no about three weeks four weeks ago or whatever we all saw it on zavi and i said i won't i won't i won't Mm -hmm. and it didn't and then they brought out the 1966 batmobile little yeah. small set and i was like oh my god i should have bought it for one figure for batman for robin yeah. for robin yeah yeah 
Yeah, that was impressive. Uh, that is, uh, and yeah, that's what I think that set. If they needed one more figure, that would have been it. Otherwise, yeah. maybe Robin will come out on another set. Who knows? Hopefully, watch, hopefully. Wa watch this space, folks. So the next one, let me, let me bring it down over here. Number 12, here we go. Just out of that gaze, uh, it's the Chinese New Year Temple Fair. Yeah, that's okay. I, I prefer the Lantern one, personally, over that. I have that one. You have that one, okay, that's cool. This set I've got, that's just down here. Uh, that's the Apollo Lunar Lander. Awesome set. Beautiful set, folks. Lovely stickers on that. And I never thought I'd ever say that about stickers. Um, over here, the Millennium Falcon, number 10. Deserves to be there. Um, I don't think I'll ever get it. I might get it at the moment it retires. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna regret it. Um, <laughs> it will be a panic buy. Uh, just bought Benny Space Squad. Have you? Oh, uh, you, you're honestly, folks. Honestly, fooling, it's such a good set. It really is. Now, number nine, definitely one of my favourite sets. I built it recently with Tech Productions. Uh, that is the uh, Destiny's Bounty ship. Uh, very worthy of number one. Uh, now, Tech, uh, that's the one from the movie. Yeah, it's the one from the movie. It's it's it's, it's beautiful. It really is. And I, just looking very quickly at this, I'm seeing a lot of Ninjago in the top ten, which kind of reflects how good Ninjago is. Just saying um i'm not seeing a lot of representation from monkey kid which is a bit of a shame really because i think um i think we could have squeezed a monkey kid set into this um anyway ninjago city gardens in at number eight very good set don't have that not yet do, do you want it though yeah, hell yeah it's, it's amazing it's one of the ones that is still available that i can get that i won't be crying about later going oh i should have got it and um, yeah yeah it's awesome yeah it really is dude it really is um when we've got th now this is a strange one again i've not got it i'm wondering if you've got it it's the clay face splat attack not yet i know where i can get it so i can get it whenever i need to and the mayor <coughs> is played by uh um mariah carey in the movie uh, the blue minifigure. okay now that's interesting then uh I, so i'd like to get that set but i didn't know it was still available so let me know where i might be able to get it I'll see if I can pick one up for you, yeah. Okay, no, seriously, I, I would like to get it, because it's... Yeah. Um... It's on the list. You want to, as many on that list as possible. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's just that set. Every time I see it every, every month, I'm sort of like, I'm always curious. It's like, oh, yeah, I do fancy that. Now, Steamboat Willie, we've talked about this a little bit earlier with Jake. Uh, what do you think about that at number six? Is it one you would buy or invest in? It is one I'd buy. It was, I was supposed to buy it and just went, like... Hmm. really quickly I, I would have my eye on it didn't buy it regret buying it i don't think it should be number six though okay interesting uh number five is the carousel um now i've not got it not really interested in getting it but i know people that have got it and they love it uh, it's amazing i want it okay interesting that's good yeah yeah and i agree now just going back to the steamboat really i remember tech actually he, he now he's, he's a bit of an investor in lego folks um he actually bought a couple of those from um, from Russia, and um, I think that was a wise decision actually, because I think this is one that I think in the future will actually do quite well uh, monetary wise. Yeah. But anyway, we've talked about the carousel, which is a beautiful uh, Lego set. Uh, we've got another beautiful Lego set as well, Ninjago City. I have this, but I need to build it. Do you not? I, I bought Ninjago Gardens a couple of years ago, just as it was being phased out and retired. And then literally the day they announced a rumor that there was gonna be uh, Ninjago City Gardens coming out, I bought the docks. Um, and I'm glad I did because literally a week later it doubled in value. It did, so I was really pleased. Now, number three, number three, I actually think should be number two. I think these should be swapped around. Um, the Batmobile, the 1989 Batmobile is, as far as I'm concerned, possibly the best set I've ever built. It really is. It's it's one of those sets that comes with not only amazing, it's an amazing build, it's just like the best thing I've ever built out of Lego, folks, it really is. But the minifigures, it, it's that perfect, it'd be the, it's the perfect UCS set. Fantastic model, fantastic figures. What about you, sir? What do you think? The same, don't have it wanted and yeah the minifigures are brilliant is it that, is that the one with vicky vale yes yeah the kim bassinger so. uh yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty cool man um okay then the number two uh brick of ty i like this it's the um it's the Ford mustang which again is a really good construction it's a it's a beautiful build i love it 
Uh, but I wouldn't put it at number two. Not in my opinion, anyway. It'd be kind of number eight, maybe, or something like that. Don't have it, don't want it. Yeah, no, that's fair enough, because you, you just don't take the big cars, I suppose. That's a, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Minifigures. If it had minifigures, I would probably... If that was Dom's Charger yeah. or something, and they had people from the movie in it, I'd be like, yeah, I want that. Yeah, yeah. I, do you know what? Um, before we get to number one, folks, tell me, tell me in the chat... Which of these sets is your favourite Lego set out of all these? Not 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 your best Lego set of all time or anything like that. Just out of these twenty sets, which one is your all time favourite? Which one would you say? I don't care how much that is, I'm going to buy it. Um, I do agree though, Sai. I do like minifigs. I like a good minifig with a set, especially if it's an expensive set. I really do. Um, we got uh, Aaron out there saying we need a Batman Technic figure <laughs> for it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, it says, I only have two sets on this list, and there's probably only one or two that I'd want I'd missed. Steamboat Willie and Nez and the 89 Batmobile could tempt me. Uh, honestly, Simon, uh, the 89 Batmobile is amazing. It really is. Uh, Bricky T.Y. says, oh, my God, so glad that I have this set. The Mustang is my fave. Number two is the way uh, for an alternate build. Yeah, that's true, actually. And I'll tell you who's going to do an alternate build one day as well is Tech Productions. Um... You see, guys, I see no Disney Castle. It's rigged. That's true, actually. There is no Disney Castle in this. Again, well, how, how were these picked? Were these like, is this the greatest? You know, is this a Hall of Fame from the last five years? Well, or it, how how does it work? I think it's based on. It, it, I mean, it's quite recent because you've got the the Ninjago City Gardens, which I always thought well, that's going to be strange. How, how is that going to be? But it's literally done by the people that review blocks. Because I thought it was done by the people, the subscribers. So I, it, here's just the thing. This is an idea to give to blocks. Uh, magazine if you're watching um you've got your hall of fame that the reviewers from the magazines have done i think you need to do a top 20 of what your subscribers think is the top 20 as well let me know what you lot think about that in the chat and if you happen to be f watching this back uh some other time let me know what you think in the comments is that a good idea or not because i tell you what folks um blocks magazine are quite up for um getting some feedback especially from this live stream as well. But anyway. Because I wonder if, if they were given like a category of such and such. As, I, there's, no, there's no Marvel. So, and there's been like the um, Sanctum Centaurum. I thought mm -hmm. that might have been there. There's no uh, modular. Should it's not? No. No. Um, and no train. No. I think a Harry it, Potter train could have been there. The crocodile that some people don't like. But some people like. Um, I don't know. It's a weird yeah. um, list. Yeah, yeah, it, it, well, but it, but it is a good list. You can't deny it. It's a it's a very good list. And of course, in at number one, we've got the par uh, parrots, more or so, <laughs> more or less the pirates of Barracuda Bay. I think there are a few parrots in it, mind you. Um, and that, that literally gets a hundred out of a hundred. I mean, the the top two do both get a hundred out of hundred. So obviously, it's based on scores. But I don't know, man. It's a very subjective thing, isn't it? It really is. Uh, interesting but let me know what you think about that folks what do you, let me know what you think about my idea as well maybe they should get their subscribers top 20 uh, I think that could be quite interesting and then and then we get a kind of a different reflection on it uh, Captain Zane says Simon unfortunately I only came into Lego in Jan so I missed out uh, I love the look of it and so buy it just want to pay for it yeah that's true actually I'm a bit like you as well Zane if I like the look of it I'll buy it um, even if it gets bad reviews, if I like it, I like it. You can't you can't help what you like, can you? Uh, it's a fact of life, isn't it, Sire? I suppose. Yeah. Um, uh, Bricky T.Y. says, "Food with bricks." Uh, when pennies allow, uh, and I run out of the sets I want, I definitely will. Yeah, this is true. And we've got bricks with Justin. He's just popped in. Hello, J bricks with Justin. Good to see you, dude. Um, Aaron saying, "I hope they make more trains for sure." I think they will actually. They're discounting the trains quite a lot at the moment, Sire, which is normally a sign. That they're going to bring out a new one, which is going to I be noticed, good, actually. But I noticed that, but they didn't. They haven't discounted the freight train yet, which is weird. And I the think freight I, train for some reason never gets heavily discounted. Oh, I did. I got it on um, Black Friday last Black Friday. I got it for a hundred and one pound. The freight train. Holy the freight God. train. Yeah, it was like literally eighty pounds off it. Oh. It was. I, I no. I got it. I, I think me and Tech. I'm, tech. I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe it wasn't that one. I know one night, me and Tech were calling each other. We were just having a word with each other. And uh, Argos had a massive sale one. And we bought, like, the T-Rex the, the, the Rampage, which I think should be in there as well, by the way. Um, the, the, they, they literally wiped £60 off it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, my God. So, anyway, we bought it straight away. Argos were a bit cheeky. They did their sale early. Anyway, something that's a bit cheeky is this guy here. Look at him. He's got some cheats on him, hasn't he? Uh, he looks like me when I'm eating a gobstopper. 
Actually, actually I look like that. <laughs> I'm not joking. About a month ago, folks, I, I, I nearly... Um, I, I was eating a rhubarb custard and it went down the wrong aisle. Well, I'll tell you what, my facial expression definitely was like that. But recently, I was given a load of old Lego sets from my uh, nephews, bless them. Top lads, they really are. And I'm looking after Lego for them, I really am. Anyway, loads of their Lego actually came yellow because what they used to do they used to think it was cool just to kind of keep it by the window uh and just sort of on display which of course is, is ill nearly folks we know uh it, it's a terrible idea to do stuff like that um loads of love out there for uh bricks with justin good to see you dude welcome to the stream um anyway what do you lot think about turning your yellow bricks back to the original color because there is a technique for it uh, and this tells you a little bit on how to do it as well so anyway we'll uh, something here called oxyclean using that and you can actually see the results are actually pretty cool aren't they Sai? yes they really are but personally speaking i've never tried it have you ever tried it Sai? no no I, I none of my stuff has gone yellow or anything like that i mean those base plates are quite old um and i know jang um uses hydrogen peroxide yeah um, yeah and uv lights and stuff but he like gets bulk stuff because he needs it and um, so does bricks are they all end up getting stuff and they have to clean it and stuff but everything that I have is new so I don't need to clean anything yeah I think I think your mic sounds all right by the way Sai. in stream yard it sounds all right but I wonder live what it sounds like my, per my sometimes my picture looks amazing on stream yard and then I watch the stream back I'm like horrified at the quality <laughs> yeah well you, you but you um you don't hardwire your one in yet do you not, not yet yeah, if you hardwire it, it definitely it definitely improves it. It really does. Eighty quid for a cable. Eighty quid. Really? Oh yeah. no. I'll have to go in on Amazon. I went to a PC World. And yeah. Oh yeah. Don't go PC World. No. Uh, you might be able to get someone that even makes one for you for that. Um, yeah. Anyway, hold that thought. Uh, so anyway, folks, if you subscribe to Blocks Magazine this month, you've got a chance to enter a competition. Every month they have a competition. They just randomly pick people, and you win Lego. Uh, and like I said before, folks, uh, like I said, I'm not throwing it in your face or anything like that. If you do want to subscribe to Blocks Magazine, uh, there is a 10% discount you'll find down in the description below, as well as... on that page, Greg. Oh, yeah. If you subscribe to Blocks with, I think it's a 12-month subscription on your, the big, on your left-hand side. Mm-hmm. You get a Blocks minifigure. You do. You do. I'm still waiting for my one. Um, uh, and you get tiles as well. Occasionally, they, they do these tiles. Uh, Tech uh, Thomas from Tech Productions was telling me uh, a little bit about that, uh, which is kind of cool. So, um, so yeah, watch this space, folks. Whenever they come out with some new ideas, and they have got one that hopefully we're going to feature in a minute, um, I'll be able to review it as well. Uh, so, anyway, uh, peroxide works, but they do, or they will go yellow again. Not a permanent fix, really. So, is that the case? Is when they when they actually do go yellow, and they're fixed. Even if you didn't put them in sunlight, would they actually go revert back to yellow again, uh, Brickety Y? Um, do tell me. Uh, yeah, Tech, he says, uh, I love the blocks tiles. I need the MK one. Yeah, um, I didn't know anything about these tiles, Tech. Uh, anyway, I got in touch with a guy that works there and he said, oh yeah, I'll sort you out some. And then I said, thanks, because I'll, um, I'll review them then uh, for you. Uh, simple as that, really. Um, so anyway, now this is one, one for you lovely lot out there. Now you can see we're already delving into the world of castles here a uh, feast your eyes on that barry uh tech and this is all about this particular part it's all about technique side uh so this is kind of really lending itself to people out there that like doing mocks customizations and stuff like that um let's take a look shall we so it, what i like about this is that they give you a kind of a catalog list of all the parts that you've got here uh, and then here it tells you uh all the bits and pieces and why you do it and all this sort of stuff it gives you ideas and stuff like that um and if there's one thing I, every time i go out with tech now there's one thing he's taught me uh that i should always get are these pieces here these kind of profile one by two bricks uh that they're awesome they really really are um bricky t white says london bridge bricks yes i tried it worked for about three or four months then started yellowing again i was being cautious on the amount of peroxide though oh, okay and that's good to know though mate that's good to know and that's a good thing about doing this is that we're talking about stuff that we don't ever talk about, which is kind of interesting, really. Uh, I love it. I really do. So here we go. Some good. Go, what makes it go yellow? Is it? Um, I know the sun, but like yeah. other stuff. It, I think it's. Is? I think it's the UV rays uh, reacting to the um, plastic, and it kind of alters the molecular structure. 
I don't know. I might have just made that last bit up, folks. I think I've been watching too many Star Trek movies. I believe. Uh, <laughs> believe me, Sai. Si. I I, I, whichever way you look at it, it's all the molecular structure of it. It really is, folks. It's just I'm, 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 I'm just baffling myself by saying it, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I think we need to reverse the polarity and get back to the magazine here, Sai. Si. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway the, how good does this window look? It's like, that is really good, isn't it? Look at the technique in that uh, tech. I love that. I, I said to you know uh, Thomas. I said to him before. I said you should do like some, some short videos, uh, like or even just normal videos, like you know five minutes long, talking about techniques and call it text technique or something like that. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, he's got such a cool name. So anyway, this is obviously this month they're talking about ladders and how to do different ladders, uh, how to make them all and stuff like that. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Isn't the Lego system a wonderful thing, folks? Isn't it? Uh, and the way you use it. Blimey, look at that one there. That's a That's serious cool. one, isn't it? That looks like tech in his room, isn't it? This is tech over the weekend constructing his IKEA uh, shelving. <laughs> but very cool. I'm liking that. Uh, and then watch my seat. And then, oh, blimey, look at these like different ways. Uh, take a pew in these uh, invitingly crafted chairs. I've never seen them before. It goes, Michael shows an artist's eye for presentation. Very cool. I'm liking that. I'm liking this. It's a cool little minifigure as well, isn't it? I've never seen those chairs before. Technically. And then, nor have I. Nor have I. Very cool. Uh, so there are occasions where we would all love to be a fly on the wall, witnessing events unfolding. Okay. Uh, and they're talking to a guy called Michael Jasper, who was able to come up with such an unusual combination of pieces in this little build that's what it is just an odd i mean you look at that there there's a coffee table there i mean that looks like some little shield of some sort and that's um a one by one tile with a clip on it very cool um yeah honestly tech thomas technique love it mate honestly i want 10 percent of all uh all the, all the money you make on that one <laughs> i'm only joking mate i just love seeing you do videos you know that uh, Tim Bainbridge is in the house. Hello, mate. Great to see you. It says you can buy uh, UV glass sheets to cover over glass windows. You can actually. Uh, I remember them from days gone by. Uh, now, Jemay. You know Jemay, folks? She's been on uh, London Calling several times. She's been on London Calling. She's also been on Mockumentary as well. She knows a few things. And she works for Tips and Bricks, doesn't she, Shy? She does. She does indeed. So do check out her channel, folks. But anyway, she does a lot of input in for tips and bricks, and um, and that's just an advert for her, really. There's nothing more to say about that. I just, I, I'd never heard of them until I met her. Oh yeah, I mean, and they do some seriously good stuff, folks. Like, like honestly, you want to learn some stuff, go there and check it out. Now, obviously, this is an advert. I wouldn't normally go on about it or anything like that. But when we know someone in the community quite closely, you know, I always like to mention them. Uh, anyway, so Jemay, uh, a little bit of Jemay, Bricks and Mortar, in case you're wondering, folks, what her YouTube channel is. Uh, now, talking of um, beautiful things, uh, I rather like a good full English breakfast. I really do, Si. Uh, and here, uh, we've got ourselves some techniques for the taste of Lego. I mean, how good do these look? I mean, that burger, how fantastic does that look? That's skillful. Yeah, man. That's amazing. I I was in a service station earlier on today, a Cobham, a Cob Cobham Services, folks, and there's only one reason I was there. Uh, I was coming back from Farnborough, and I fancied a McDonald's. I really did. I hadn't eaten breakfast or anything. I mean, look at those eggs. They look fantastic. Fried eggs, amazing, and fried bread. I going there today. Was it nice? Oh, it was nice. I, I, I've had a right... You won't believe it, though, folks. I got home. I got the uh, I got the skirting board, got it home. It's built by the same... Made by the same company, Quick Step. It looks like the same stuff, but it's the, it's the wrong... It's the wrong skirting board. So, so we, won't, we won't tell uh, we, 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 we won't tell cabbage that uh, I mean, he, he, he doesn't even call it skirting board anyway but anyway let's cut a long story short I can't be bothered to do a four hour round trip again and uh, I've got to get I've got back to the company I've left them a message but that's kind of going to delay the cabin by about four weeks that is which um, at the rate I'm building my Ikea at the moment it helps me out if in all honesty so anyway it's not the end of the world i've got this plate i've got this i'm lucky enough to have this room so anyway mox and picks case quadric uh 620 bloody so uh, some sort of te technic thing uh they, this is i mean look at that that's a good photograph isn't it that really does look like the real deal uh it really doesn't um can any 
Lego Madness seems to be the only one who's saying that you've got any sound sound uh, issues, Sai. No, Say anybody else. Suzanne, Lorraine, a good few people have said it. Oh, okay. Um, you sound okay to me. That's the weird thing. Um, but there we go. But yeah, I think we need to have a little play around with your sound setup, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. I tell you who, who is quiet as well is um, Lego Danny Bob, but she sits she sits about two feet away from her mic, uh, so that's why that is. Um, but anyway, look at that. That's a great picture, isn't it? That looks pretty cool. I'm liking this. So this is Mox. So now we're getting into the territory of Tech Productions, uh, Plastic Architect, and of course I'm Board Toys, who do a mockumentary every single Monday. So anyway, uh, you've got this set, so I haven't you. I do, it's awesome. I recommend it to anybody and it comes with the kind of exclusive me figure. Yeah, it does actually. I was forget about that. It really does. Uh, I'm liking the uh, I'm liking what they've done with it there. So they're mocking that, customised it and all this. There's a nice set of flowers. I like that. That's very yeah. clever. And I've got to be honest, with Lego flowers or flowers made of Lego, I think they always look better if they're in a real vase as opposed to a vase made of Lego. Yeah. Um, yeah. well, I'm going to buy some of those flowers and put them into vase. I think they look absolutely cool. Um, yeah, I, you'd have to dust them, but like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. Um, okay, here we go. Mock this, the classic oh, sports car. That's that looks good, doesn't it? So this is nice. They give you a, a rundown here of mostly what the parts you need. I think it would be quite good, though, if Blocks Magazine did, um, uh, did it gave us like a little list of things yeah. to buy with it. Um, They're part numbers. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the actual part number. So you could then easily put it into Britlink or something like yeah. that. I, th I think that would be quite cool. Um, yeah, text saying you're a bit quiet as well. Um, okay, well, maybe we're going to play with that a little bit later, Si. But we can hear him, though. That's the main thing. We can hear you. I love a little play with you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. Uh, so anyway, so so that's the, the, the mock section. Actually, they, they normally do um, a bit on... Yeah, that's it, they haven't done that this week. Uh, they normally do like a sort of an area on Lego ideas. I haven't done it this month. Maybe they're sort of changing gear a little bit in that respect. So anyway, this, this is always a cool part. This is Rewind. And this is a part where uh, a couple of guys, uh, notoriously Daniel, uh, looks back at sets from days gone by. Um, I'll I tell you one thing, you could try it, Si. Your gain, what's your gain set to on your, uh, on your mic? My what? The gain on your mic. What and where do I find Oh my it? god. Look at your <laughs> mic, right? And you'll see there's a big there's a big um there's a button on it, like a dial. A dial that says gain. You should you should set it to something like um It says volume. No, 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 it'll be called gain. Have you got gain on there? Is that what you've got on there? It's volume. Yeah. Have you got it on the other side? Nope. Oh what's that one on the other side, that button there? any better chat so is there still an echo on that or with you greg no there's no there's no echo because that's the button i pressed earlier on when you told me to switch it um to that no the, the no the the echo cancelling is on the uh, stream yard no, no, we had we had an echo and you asked me what was on the back of the mic so i pressed that ah uh, okay i so see I yeah know, it could be it could have changed it yeah, most mics have gain on them as well, so you up and you up and down it. All right, anyway, we'll play around with it, folks. The volume of the front, so if put that up. Ah, oh, it's so loud. Yeah, no, no, the volume is just what you hear. Oh well, yeah. we'll we'll work on it afterwards, folks. We're nearly done uh, with the review. Uh, we we are. So anyway, so we won. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Uh, no echo. That's a bit better. Um, okay, cool. That's brilliant. A uh, tiny bit better. That's good. Um, thank. Yeah, thanks for the feedback, guys. We do appreciate it. So, yeah, Rewind. Black Knights, castles from days gone by. People like um, Barry, especially, is really into his castles. Looking forward to seeing uh, his YouTube channel taking off, folks. And he's going to be on London Calling next week. Building Ninjago, <laughs> which is going to be cool. Uh, anyway, so they talk about sets uh, that they particularly liked and that did work really well back in the day. Um, and I like the way they do it, actually. They kind of, they kind of do it with this retro-looking paper as yeah. well which is kind of nice and and then they do a rebuild one now one of these figures in here i'm sure you must have Sai, because uh it's a glow in the dark figure i do i've got them with the monster fighters train ah. but i don't know if that's an older one or a newer one the older ones had uh the older ones had just a block uh, a mm -hmm. white block uh, like like just one white lego piece and you put it onto that 
and then the newer ones had legs. Oh, okay, I see. Right, I like that. Yeah, I can, I can see because it's a bit like the um, what's the figure, the Chewbacca figure, where you kind of just sit yeah. him over the whole body. Same I gotcha. Thing. Yeah, it looks good though. I like it with the horses and everything like that. Uh, Food with bricks. He says the the Black Monarch Castle six oh eight five. I don't have this. Uh, one of the few classic sets. I I don't actually own. Yeah, I do like that. You, you can see. They can hear me now. Yeah, I, um, it's a strange one, isn't it? That I can ha I can hear. Ha can you hear any echo though, Greg? No, no, I haven't got no echo. Okay, I turned back. I turned off the stereo and put back on the echo cancellation. So basically, I, I undid what you told me to do. Okay, that's interesting. But I so, think maybe the earphones are stopping the echo. Yeah, I think the earphones definitely. Earphones always stop echo all yeah. the time. So that's good. Um, let me just put. I, I can tell I've been going over an hour and a half now, folks, because the <laughs> uh, uh, the music's cut out. I, do you know what I did? Right, I did. I made a really big. Uh, Forty-five minutes before we we went on air. Uh, I thought I'm just going to do um, I'm, I'm going to add some music so I made a playlist it's an hour and a half long and effectively folks it's a bit of a it's a bit of a hack in StreamYards that I've done and I've, it's actually a video of the music playing in the background and then I had to ram up uh, so, that it, so that it rendered the video in like proper quick time so anyway let's put it back on again um, and here we go there it is nicely going on in the background there um <laughs> lego madison that's better side but greg is very loud <laughs> greg's always loud he's allowed to be loud he's greg he's so. yeah sorry lego madness uh <laughs> the hostess with the mostess and all that um but yeah uh what else we've got going on there aaron brinkhoff says wow this is great nice little mock um so yeah so so sorry going back to this and again um i recommend you get particularly for you barry this month this particular magazine so what they do is they do this this thing called rebuild uh, as part of the rewind coverage and they basically take some new elements and they and they recreate an old one but with with newer better lego elements because obviously back in the day it was all a bit blocky wasn't it yeah. um and this one's the 6034 block monarch's ghost it's time to give the black monarch's ghost a more fitting tower to haul i mean how cool is that it's lovely isn't it it's awesome. it really is but i just don't get why blocks magazine doesn't give us the list of parts because you're looking at it you've got to count it all up do you know what i mean yeah. i think it'd be so much better if they did that so blocks magazine if you i don't know, maybe i'm missing something maybe they've got it online or something like that i've just never read it that's all so anyway and but what's nice what they do do the most important thing i suppose is they show you how to do it and i love the way they, the doors and everything like that come together the brown the black mixed with the gray it kind of all pops it doesn't it folks gives it a little bit I of that texture know, how close to the end of the mag are you because i have it downstairs and i'm thinking i'll read along with you on my one. Oh well i'm literally at the last page well then i won't do that for <laughs> I, i'm gonna build this castle yeah you should I'm do build that yeah but the only problem is is that there's no um there's no there's no actual uh, i mean the instructions are there which is great but there's no sort of parts list yeah i could probably work it out yeah, but I know, but that's the thing. Though. Why, it'd be easier. Why I mean, they've done all the hard work. They put it all together. Why don't they do the parts list? Blocks Magazine, if you're watching, let me know what you think about that. Uh, over here, folks, gives you the Lego events that are coming on this year. I've actually booked up an event this year, folks. I'm going to Milton Keynes. Is anyone booked up to go to Milton Keynes? Um, if you are, drop me a note on uh, on Instagram. Or let us know in the chat as well. Uh, anyway, so we've all got over here, Lug Life as well. Uh, they normally cover uh, Lug Life, but they didn't do any of this. We've got Blocks, Mag we've got Blocks Brictionary. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Give, give me a letter between A and Z. A L. L. Okay, what have we got on L? We have got... Um, Legos. Read the Legos one. The Legos one. There we go. We've got um, Legal. That's an interesting one. Legal. Uh, well, there isn't a Lego. Oh, Legos. Yeah, incorrect plural of Lego. Ha <laughs> ha! Surprise! Is it? Well, the thing is, our, our American cousins called it that, didn't they? I'm going to go. They're not supposed to. I know, I know, but they can't stop themselves. They can't. They can't stop themselves. Uh, one person, I had a discussion with somebody on Facebook one day, and they said mm. it's quick. I said, why, why do you why, why do you say Legos? Why do you put an extra S on? They said it's quicker to say. What? We're putting an extra, we're putting an extra letter on. What? 
Yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's why I don't get into Lego's discussions anymore because I get extremely heated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. That, that's the funny thing, folks. Um, but yeah, no, it's Lego. I, but you know what? In, in all my tags, I put Legos <laughs> because it covers them. I know it winds people up as well. Uh, it goes, uh, uh, Aaron says, I love my Legos. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lego Madness says, I'm going to the Lego store in MK in October, I think. Um, that's cool. Uh, it's about two hours, Reed. Uh, so Luke was saying it's about an hour and a half from him. But I, was like, I thought it would be a lot closer for him, Milton Keynes. But anyway, I've booked tickets. I'm going to be up there as early as I can be. Um, so anyway, on the last page now, folks, the penultimate page uh, from the vault. And here they look back. Uh, it says here, broken clips uh, were nightmare scenarios for Lego fans until the company figured out what was going on and they talk about how they fixed it and the techniques that they went to now blocks magazine next month this looks rather good doesn't it look at this amazing there's your luigi side there's your luigi and what else we've got star wars new set reviews looking forward to that um this here is the is the bad batch uh, i watched this week's cartoon actually it was a bit of a episode in all honesty it, it was like it's like come on guys we need to move on the story hasn't moved on at all. Um, it's the same story now all the yeah. time. Yeah, it's it, it. They need to. Uh, I like the characters in it. I'm I'm interested to see where we go with Omega and what happens to uh, uh, the the sniper who's uh, kind of turned without you know him really knowing what's going on. Um, but yeah, I think they need to sort of um, uh, uh, they need a spark or something. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. the Lego sets I love. I really love the Lego Absolutely. sets. Absolutely, I can't wait to get my hands on the, the entire Bad Batch in one set. How cool! Yeah, it's, that that is very very cool. Uh, and that, if there's one time, folks, on a stream, you do want an echo, it's the Bad Batch <laughs> echo. It really is. So anyway, I can't wait to get that. I love the, the shape of the show. I love this speeder as well. This speeder bike there. That's completely like you look at that. You would never imagine that that was from a Star Wars, would you? Uh, yeah. It's, it's it's more hidden side than anything. Uh, in, in in all honesty, uh, Fooling with Brick says that's not bad. Lego Madness, yeah, he goes. Uh, Lego Madness says uh, like half an like half hour away on train for me. Yeah, that's cool actually. Actually, I, I should, maybe I should think about going up there on train. A bit lazy like that. I'll just get the car. Uh, and on the back of here, we've got just an advert. So there we go, folks. That is Blocks Magazine issue number eighty one for July. Um, I think it's the first Thursday of every month that the Blocks magazine actually does come out. So that's why I like to review it like with about a week or so to go uh, when it goes. And, uh, and like I said, folks, it's the first time I've ever done a magazine review on a live stream. So let me know what you think about that. You guys and girls out there in the chat seems to have enjoyed it, which is great. Uh, I've certainly liked being on here uh, with the beautiful Cy O'Connor and Jake uh, from Jake's Dads. And of course, folks, if you do... Uh, want to know a little bit about those two please do uh check out the description below where you find all their details as well as a few videos of other reviews that i've done of blocks magazine as well i know one thing as well they 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 they've worked on an archive system uh, the blocks magazine have and maybe next month uh, i'll be talking a little bit about that and i think that's part of the subscription now if you subscribe to them you've got the archive you've got access to the whole archive of all the Blocks magazines that have ever come before. And that's a pretty good resource, isn't it, Si? I mean, yeah, totally. And their graphics guys and girls do an amazing job as well. The, the Blocks magazine covers, I think for me, because I'm a weirdo, are very collectible. I love the the Blocks magazine layout as in, did the artwork and everything to do i think it's brilliant and the um, i think the stream greg was a success i think it was great i hope you do more live magazine reviews it's really good oh cheers dude well i, I think I, I think for us to discuss stuff i think the blocks magazine really does lend itself quite nicely to it yeah. uh as much as i love ninjago and spider-man and avengers all that uh that's mostly comic so I can't really do that. <laughs> that really is copy of them and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll de definitely please do leave a comment, folks, um, and let me know what you think or just get in touch with me on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, and that, that pretty much does round off this London Eye uh, with the Blocks Magazine flip through and review. Um, so I, like I said, thank you for being here. Uh, I just want to say thank you as well to you lovely lot out there. But before I do that, I just want to mention about Wednesday, Si and I are going to be doing uh, the backlog on my channel 
and uh, this week I asked, I put a survey out there, Si, I asked people, I said, this coming Wednesday, it's my turn to host the backlog uh, live stream. What theme would you like me to build? Well, 25% uh, percent of you, actually, let's end the poll first of all, and, uh, and then we'll get the readout from that so that it can be all official and up to date. Uh, let's go to where that was. Well, it was there anyway. It's disappeared now. Come back to me. Uh, there we go. So it's <laughs> it's disappeared and now it's come back. I was like, oh my god, it's gone. Uh, it goes. Uh, monkey, I noticed. Yeah, uh, mine as well. I, I went looking for you today and it was gone. And it was yeah. Gone. <laughs> well, uh, do you know what? I, I'm surprised how close this actually was. Um, so I asked people what theme they would like me to build this coming Wednesday for the backlog. It's Cyanide's. Uh, <laughs> it's our it's our joint stream that we do the backlog and 29% uh, of you went for Star Wars 25 went for Ninjago 25 went for Friends which is really high um, and that's quite good to see as well honestly folks Friends is a fantastic theme it really is uh, and 20% went for City uh, and uh, that, that was 44 votes altogether so thank you so much for that everybody I really do appreciate that so coming up on Wednesday uh, from me will be the backlog and I will be building a Star Wars set of some sort I better go and find a microfighter or something like that so <laughs> um, so actually do you know what before I get say goodbye to everyone do you want to tell us what's coming up from your channel in the next week or so yeah, uh, I've to I've done all the questions out for the Q and A, which which is really complicated to do. You think you just sit there and read a few questions, answer, but um, yeah. So some questions are mad, uh, so I'm going to have some funny bits in it. Hopefully, uh, I have to film that, and then that'll be out. I want to get that out today because it's two weeks in the making. I didn't even realize. And um, then I've got some other videos of stuff I've done. Uh, one from the backlog last week. Um, we have a bit of a critical review on that one. That's the. Um, the Black Panther um, Dragonfly, like I don't know why mine keeps falling apart. So anyway, and really? uh, yeah, then yeah, it's bonkers, and uh, yeah, you'll see the video anyway. Um, and then on Wednesday with Greg, and on Thursday back for the live stream. So yeah, videos in and out during the week. Keep in tune and um, subscribe and hit the notification bell fantastic awesome so yeah like i said folks if you want to know uh, a little bit about Sai, and if you want to know a little bit about jake then please do check out the description below uh, this has been blocks magazine issue number 81 and i just want to say uh, thank you and goodbye to all you lovely peeps out there so where should we go of course i'm going to say thank you to Sai. i want to say thank you to barry aka fooling bricks uh, lorraine o'connor bricky ty aaron lego madness uh, bricks with justin uh, who else we got out there simon uh, who else? Who else? We've we got out there. We've got loads of people out there today. We've got Tech from Tech Productions. Kevin from Onboard Toys was out there earlier on. The wonderful Captain Zane as well. Love you, Captain. Thank you so much for coming in. I really do appreciate it. Tim Bainbridge as well. He's been out there. Aaron uh, Brickerhoff as well. Really do appreciate that. Minark was in earlier on, folks, and he gave us uh, a lovely two pounds super chat as well. I always appreciate that. And everybody who ever gives us a super chat as well now then one thing i did promise that i would do uh for my my good friend uh is um but he hasn't said it over to me uh is <laughs> i was i was going to give you lot out there uh, a link uh let me see if i can find it uh here we go uh what i want what i want you to what, what i'd like you lovely lot to do is young jake uh is actually uh streaming at the moment and but he's not streaming on YouTube, he's actually streaming on Twitch. So if you'd be kind enough to pop over and say hello to him, please do so after this stream by following this link. Uh, don't be scared, uh, Twitch doesn't buy it, I promise you folks, it's really quite a cool place to hang out. Uh, it really is. Go over there, and if, you, and if you do say hello to him, just say hello, just say Greg set, uh, sent you lovely lot over as well. So anyway, this has been Blocks81, this has been London Eye. Um, look after yourselves keep wearing those masks if you have to folks be kind to each other be kind to yourself it really is important that you do that folks and Lego and Lego is a wonderful thing and you know what each and every one of you lovely lot out there are too take care folks and I will see you again on Wednesday bye for now cheerio bye bye, bye.